Well, if there's one good thing to say about this neighborhood, I guess it's that crime is at an all-time low. If you, you know, don't count the crimes perpetrated by the alien occupiers, well then, otherwise, good luck living here, because you ain't going to live here long. Half-Life 2. This is a game that probably doesn't need any real introduction. I've been told by a number of people a number of different things about this game, but each of them tend to end in, this is one of the greatest games ever made, you should probably play it. And up until recently, there I had no way to. But now that I have a computer that can totally run these kinds of games well, and have them look really good, why the hell not? This is literally the first time I booted up the game, so completely blind. Okay. Chapter 1. Insertion. I should probably have looked at the options first. Yeah. Oh well. We're jumping right into this. I could turn on the subtitles later. Those aren't important. Nobody reads. In the future, nobody reads. See, I can't read that. What's that say? I don't know. It's got that weird symbol between the H and the L. And that space. Rise thing. and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest. And all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. That's not menacing at all. Thanks. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Well, whatever. Where's my coffee? You have my coffee? Hey, where's my coffee? I didn't see you get on. Because I wasn't there until a second ago. Can I jump out of this train? Oh. No, I can't. What are you doing? Cherry Bunch, you two. You're really talkative. Oh. End of the line. Say that again. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Yeah, you buzz have off. Chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactor. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, <laughs> welcome to City 17. The last city you'll ever want to live in. <laughs> ah, please, stop with that. I think I go this way. Use the phone. Oh, I can... Never mind about the phone, then. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you. I'm on to you, and that thing that I just saw out of the corner of my eye. I forget what they're called. It's been a while since I played a Half-Life game. Look at this stuff. It's all I have left. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to City right, 17. You have chosen, or hey. been chosen, to relocate to one him up. of our finest remaining urban My suitcase? Can I have your suitcase? I thought so much Are you the only one on that train? That I oh, oh. Did establish my Fine, then leave your suitcase, I don't care. In the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband and so, for questioning. Whether you are here they said he'd be on the next train. Passing through on I'm not your sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, though, to letting me wait for him. Yeah, real sweet of him. Excuse me while I search these lockers. Excuse me while I try to break these boxes. Nah. Maybe we can wall the guard in there and keep him from getting back. Is that a soda? So rare in the dystopian future. Let me put it on your head. Nah. Cardboard boxes! My favorite! I bet 
when this game came out, these physics were mind-blowing. Welcome. Now they're pretty pedestrian, because they're kind of the standard that everything else is held against, but you have chosen they're still fun to mess around with. To to one of our ah, shut up. What's your name? Centers. I don't know his name. We'll find out in a minute, though. So I don't have a flashlight, either. I tried. I to my administration here. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. You guys have this. Drink it. Whoops. Sorry about that. Anything else to say? Cool. Don't drink the water. Good enough. They're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on. But nice to know. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave you to that. Welcome. I see they took your suitcase Welcome too. To they can't get away with this much longer. I didn't have a suitcase. You have for you. I tried to, I tried to give you your suitcase. To and you to one of our finest Hold on, guard. Talk centers. to people. I thought so much to go of on. 17 that I milk. elected to establish milk. my administration or the yeah, milk. in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by Dr. Breen again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I didn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Yeah, I think pissing off the big guys is a surefire way to end up disappearing here. Hey. Uh, sure. Gents? And a good day to you, officer. You seem like a friendly chap. Let's get on with it. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. I bet he does. Wait for gunshots? Or screams? Or both? Okay, okay, hold your horses. Sure. Fine. This can only go well. Sh should I sit down or something? Uh, I'm backed up. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. <laughs> hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. <laughs> yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. It's me! Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! Me. I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man! That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my- I'm in! Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. What window? I'll meet up with you later. What window? Oh, okay. Physics puzzles! I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot of these in the next however many hours this game lasts. Oh, damn it. We made it! Convenient box! Just got conveniently broken. Take this convenient cinder block to bash some fools in. Or not. Okay, the door opens. Okay, okay. Come with me, cinder block. I have big plans for you. And you, loading screen. Oh. Maybe it was a good thing I brought the cinder block. I can break it. No, I can't break that padlock. 
Does that mean there's a crowbar nearby? Does it mean there's a crowbar? Yes. Hey. What's up? Uh, sure. There it goes. Awesome! Achievement! Submissive. I'll pick up this one too if you don't if you want to. Oh it's not a can. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for Do they? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for men? What does? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us read again? Will they? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than try to answer every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperative. That sounds harmless. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. <laughs> I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Yes, because it's only gotten us this far. Our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks. You know, for millions of years. Look how badly that turned out. And started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true nature. Alright, alright, enough listening to the talking head. Although he is a very nice looking head. Excuse me. The line starts at the end. What well, is the end? What is that a line for, anyway? Rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly compels us away Food? from change and progress. Magic Instinct, water, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought to. You must be expunged and fought to the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. <laughs> <laughs> they have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in oh. a They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this oh. compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing fear will be shut off on the day that we have mastered ourselves. The day we can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority. <laughs> He's close at hand. I'm gonna smile for the camera. Go on, citizen. Enjoy your meaningless structured lives. Slaving away in a nothingless future. That is a tall tower. Hey, I recognize this place. It's from the title screen. Ah! Yeah, get on, little doggy. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Friendly chaps. If I talk to you out here, let me read a letter I recently received. Dear Dr. Green, why has the Combine seen fit to suppress our reproductive cycle? Sincerely, a concerned citizen. <laughs> Thank you for writing, concerned. Concerned, executed of course, citizen. Your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. With all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them oh, the we've already listened to that. kind of decision all right. for mankind? 
will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns. Where to go? Rather than try this to way? answer every possible question you might have. I don't think so. Reason six. Access required. Okay, got that. Let us consider the fact that for the first time. I guess we're not really a citizen. We're kind of on the run here, but covertly. Is in our own Best kind of running. This running when no one knows you're running. By not running at all. By walking leisurely. I don't think I can run. This is the run speed. Uh, sure. Whatever you say, faceless mook. Whoa. That looks menacing. That looks like a nice ride. Oh, I want a tank. Aww. At least I have a box. Never mind, I don't have a box. Don't mind me, I'm climbing this ladder. Not being suspicious. I'm not being suspicious over here, y'all. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. 